What's up guys, Edgy here bringing another video and today we have TD Presents, Content Creator CFM, Fantasy Draft CFM, whatever you guys want to call it. It is back from Madden 22. Uh, we did our 32 user Fantasy Draft and basically I'm just giving you guys a little breakdown. Obviously you're going to see some of the players right now. Um, I was only able to record my first seven picks. So unfortunately I had to work. So I was only able to do the first seven picks and then I had to go. I tried to have my buddy draft for me, but for some reason, whenever he logged into my account on his Xbox, whenever he tried to make a pick, as soon as he clicked on, you know, select player, it would instantly just send the clock to zero and auto draft. So I wasn't on autopilot. I don't know why that happened. Auto draft did me kind of dirty. Got a lot of players that I didn't really want. Um, at the time I'm recording this, I've already played my week one game. I'm not going to spoil that for you guys, uh, but I'm just going to say that I'm definitely going to be making some trades. Um, there's, you know, some players in certain positions that I don't particularly like. Um, but there is a lot that I do like. So I'm going to go over the roster uh, real quick for you guys. I, and then I'll just go ahead and show you guys the draft picks. Obviously, you guys are already going to know who I picked. But kind of you'll see my thought process on who I was taking, when, and why. Um, so quarterback, we got Lamar Jackson. Unfortunately, this one, um, we weren't recording at the time. Um, I don't know if it was my error or if my computer error. I don't know if I hit record and it just didn't record. Or if I thought I hit the record button and I didn't. Uh, but we took Lamar. I think we had the second or the third pick. We wanted Mahomes, but Mahomes was gone. So I was like, you know what? People struggle to stop my pass game. What are they going to do when I have 96 speed runner on there? So I took Lamar Jackson. Uh, halfback. This one, we did not get to select anybody. Marlon Mack was auto pick. Sonny Michelle was auto pick. All these guys were auto picked. Uh, we signed this guy in a free agency because he had 93 speed. Um, but I'm definitely probably going to try to make a move there. I'd like a little bit more speed at running back. I like Marlon Mack. Um, not a big fan of Sonny Michelle. He seems a little too slow for me. Um, it's kind of, you know, a bulkier back. He seems like he doesn't really have good change of direction or anything. Um, fullback, we got Keith and Carter. Wide receiver, this is another position I definitely want to make some moves at. So we got Cortland Sutton, which I don't mind having one, you know, possession type of guy. You know, big body, work the underneath stuff, throw him, you know, a slant and trust him to hold on to it in traffic. I'm fine with Cortland Sutton. LaVisca Chenault, I feel like they did him very dirty on his speed. He's very fast in real life. Very good young wide receiver. He has star dev. But 88 speed is just, when you have 89 speed on the other side, you're going against good corners, it's hard to get open. So I'm probably going to try to trade him, get somebody a little bit faster in there, um, maybe somebody a little bit higher overall, maybe a little lower overall. But really, I just need another burner. Um, Devin DuVernay, he's he's pretty good as well. One year in the league, 93 speed. He has star dev, so he should go up pretty quick. Hopefully we can get a couple speed boosts. I might keep him around. Um, Khalif Raymond and Robert Foster just guys I picked up out of free agency to have speed on the bottom of the depth chart in case we needed extra guys tight end we have Evan Ingram this is one of the actual seven guys that we did pick 89 speed 90 excel and I'm just going to tell you guys that he was the majority of our offense in the first game so be prepared to see Evan Ingram go off offensive line all auto picks not the greatest left side is decent as two young guys with start of so hopefully they develop quickly um, rest of the line definitely needs work Defensively, Shaq Lawson at the end. Calais Campbell, who we play as a rush D-tackle. DJ Reader at D-tackle. Outside linebackers, we got Chase on. Uh, Leon Jacobs is a very fast linebacker. We can use her. We have Keanu Neal, who's actually a middle linebacker in this game now. Um, I'm not sure if he's playing middle linebacker for the Cowboys or if he's still playing strong safety, but I don't mind him there. He's you know pretty, he's fast enough to use her. He has pretty good man in zone, and he has crazy hit power. So he's definitely okay there at middle linebacker for me. The, the rare times I do run linebackers. Andrew Van Ginkle, very solid, well-rounded guy. We're going to use him as a pass rusher mostly. Uh, cornerback, we took these two cornerbacks. The rest of them were auto-drafted, but we got Byron Jones, Dante Jackson. We wanted to take care of the cornerback position, make sure that we can match up with those top-tier wide receivers. Free safety, we got Jeremy Chin. This was one of our other picks. I think this was my last pick, actually, but I wanted a good safety, good height, good speed, someone I can use her when I need to. And at strong safety, this was one of our, I think this is our second or third round pick. But we got Tyron Matthew. He's up to 96 now. He got an upgrade from week one. 90 speed, 92 excel, 92 agility. He has 92 man, 92 zone. He does everything. Obviously, you know, he's a smaller guy, but he flies around the field. He makes plays. I'm very excited to see what we can do in the CFM with him. But guys, that's going to basically wrap up this section of the video. From here on out, all you're going to see is my draft picks. Um, there's not going to be an outro to the video, of course, because it's just going to be the draft picks, the seven draft picks, and that will be it. Um, I might have done a little outro whenever I recorded the seventh round pick. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but you guys will see all those. Episode two will be our first gameplay, which, like I said, I just recorded. So I just wanted to get this out to you guys. 
Uh, from now on, it will be all of my draft picks. Hope you guys enjoy. Smack that like button. Obviously, I wanted Mahomes. So I went into this saying, I'm drafting quarterback in the first round. I'm not going through what I went through in the other CFMs where I get stuck with Carson Wentz or Daniel Jones where you never know what you're going to get out of him. I wanted a top-tier quarterback. Mahomes was gone. And I was like, you know what? Normally, I wouldn't go Lamar just because there's, you know, accuracy isn't always there. Sometimes he's going to have some wild throws. But I thought about it, and I was like, you know what? If people struggle to stop my pass game, what are they going to do when I also have a 96-speed quarterback and they have to throw a spy up every single play? That's going to just completely transform what I'm able to do. So I went ahead and took Lamar Jackson. I'm very excited about it. Uh, we were in round number, or still in round number one. Um, as soon as I get to my second round pick, you guys will see that. But I want to show you guys something real quick. As you see, my green screen is all right right now. But if I back out of this, this screen is so bright, it literally makes my green screen like glitch out. Um, so hopefully it's not like this when you're actually selecting. I don't remember if it was or not since my pick was 17 picks ago. Um, but yeah, I just want to let you guys know that. Uh, this this is the round one recap, and I will see you in round two. All right, guys, so we're on the clock. We have almost back-to-back -back picks. We have pick right now. We got the Broncos back-to-back, -back, and then we pick again. So we're going to go ahead, make a selection. Meant to go to draft board. All right, guys, I'm going to do something crazy here. We're going to take Tyron Matthew. Elite safety. We're going to load up this defense. All right, guys, so we're back on the clock. We got a safety. Now we want to add a superstar corner. So for me, it's between Byron Jones and Darius Slay. So I'm going to compare them real quick. Darius Slay is a little bit faster. Byron Jones is younger, and this is a two-year CFM. We're going to take Byron Jones, bring him home. All right, guys, we are on the clock. End of round number four. There's one player that I want. I hope the last pick didn't take him. He's still here. So we need an inside stuff. Bcaz is in our division. He got Derrick Henry again. We know he's going to run the ball 30 times a game. We need somebody with inside stuff. Stop those inside runs. It is a two-year league, which kind of sucks because Calais Campbell could retire after the season. But we need somebody there. We're going to take him. All right, guys, so with this fifth round pick, we're going to add another corner, Dante Jackson, have that speedster opposite of Byron Jones, make sure we lock everything up. All right, guys, we are on the clock. Unfortunately, I'm only going to be able to make these next two picks, and then I have to go into work. Um, so we're going to make our sixth round pick and our seventh round pick, and then I am out of here. I'm going to have one of my buddies draft some for me. I don't know if he's going to finish the draft or if he's just going to do a couple rounds, um, but I kind of told him what positions I needed him to get. Um, right now... I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to get our user. Six foot three, 93 speed, 92 excel. Jeremy Chin. Come on home. All right, guys. So I think I'm actually going to go tight end here. I think I'm going to go with Evan Ingram. Uh, give us that really fast tight end. Allow us to run some of the routes I've been running this year. And I'm going to let my buddy take care of my wide receivers. I trust him. Let's go ahead. Evan Ingram, tight end. 